Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 1st, 2020. Yesterday, we had kind of a, well, a little bit of disappointment. We saw our jobs, uh, unemployment number, um, jump up above 30 million people unemployed. And that kind of brought out some bears and some profit takers yesterday, pushing the indexes slightly down. But what does that mean for this morning? How Well, how about we grab ourselves um, our beverage of choice this morning. Let's settle in and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we're looking at um, kind of a, well, a, a disappointing market. Um, after the bell yesterday, we heard from two of the big tech bellwethers, Apple. Apple reported, and they've disappointed the market slightly here this morning, indicating about 2.75% lower here this morning, only about eight points lower. But... Um, Apple being such a huge weighted company in the NASDAQ, that's having a little bit of an effect pulling down um, the index uh, slightly here this morning and providing a little bit of bearish weight. If we take a look at Amazon, now Amazon's dropping about 124, 25 points. Um, indicated at the moment well now it's indicated about 150 points lower this morning which which equates to maybe five percent or something like that let's take a quick look here Let's see if I can get that set right and we'll drop down to about here um, about six percent lower this morning at the open so a little bit of disappointment but neither one are looking like um, uh, you know they're holding in support areas things like that so they're not particularly bearish but we will want to um, consider their big their heavy weighting in the market and so this morning <clears throat> well I should say after the bell yesterday, those disappointing earnings kind of fired up the bears and we saw selling in the futures market overnight. As of this moment, we are indicated to open down more than 450 points in the Dow as we kind of continue to slide lower. We also got news at the end of the day yesterday that Boeing was going to offer up a $25 billion bond um, issue trying to raise some capital uh, for for its work. One of the largest um, bond distributions in history. And uh, I don't know how that's going to play out with the stock this morning. That's, uh, that's raising quite a lot of debt, but we'll wait and see um, how that plays out. So this morning we are indicated lower. The Dow is expected to open somewhere down here in this range. As you can see, there's my bid ask spread. But if we take a look at the technicals on the chart, there's really nothing um, wrong with that so far. As you can see, we're going to still open above our 50-day moving average. Now, the key is going to be whether we hold that by the end of the day. We're going to want to watch that pretty closely. If sellers come in, you know, I suspect we're going to hear that old saying repeated over and over and over about a thousand times today by talking heads and media, sell in May and go away. But the thing is, as we kind of have all this hopefulness of a country reopening or our economy reopening um, over the next few weeks to um, who knows um, how the market will actually respond to that. There's hopefulness out there uh, for that recovery, for that reopening. Um, there's also tremendous uncertainty about how that will go and will it create more virus infections? How will it actually work out? And that uncertainty going forward could also weigh on the market just slightly as we head into the weekend. So we have the positive, we have the negative. It's really hard to know. Now, one of the other things that I wanted to point out in the Dow here is that we have a support level right down in here. Now, obviously that is a significant, if this just to here is 450 points, 
um, lower, then um, that means we've got 400 plus more points uh, down to this level. So significant swings in the market. But the good news is, is we did put in some support level in here. And perhaps if we fail that 50, we might catch that level of support right in there. So let's watch that close. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY also dipping this morning, pulling back, but not near as much as the Dow is at the moment. We are going to slip back below its 500 day moving average, but it looks like we're going to hold on to our 50 day easily here this morning. So let's watch that close as this pullback um, occurs, a little bit of bearish activity. And I wouldn't be at all that surprised to see a little bit of profit taking and things heading into this weekend. Considering the fact that this was the strongest um, uh, market rally, monthly market rally since um, 1987. So it wouldn't be all that surprising to see a little bit of profit taking coming in. Let's take a look at the Qs. <clears throat> QQQ is still the technically strongest index out there, but notice it's getting a substantial pullback this morning, and that's the effects of those big techs like Amazon and Apple kind of disappointing. Pulling back a little um, here this morning, but notice that we're still well above our 50 day moving average. And the good news here on the 50 day moving average, it is finally starting to flatten out. So if that continues to occur, that's going to help increase that level of support down in this area. And we do have price support, obviously, that could hold us as well. Now, that would be a significant slide if we were to go all the way down there and test that. But we have to kind of consider that possibility could be in play. So watch that close. It's not uncommon once we cross back above a 50 day moving average to have to test it more than once. So um, is that possibility there? Yeah, I think it is. Let's watch that close and kind of keep that in mind. Let's also take a look at IWM. Now, IWM shot up the last few days and I actually put a short trade on IWM. That's working out nicely for me here this morning. I just felt like it was overextended and um, needed um, a rest. I wasn't expecting it to drop like it has, but I, that's working out nicely here this morning for me. Now what's going to be important is that that IWM can hold on here to this price support. If IWM were to slip back below there, that could create a little bit of pressure um, uh, on things. So let's watch that cl closely. Hopefully it, it'll it just hang in there and do pretty well. But there's, there is that little bit of uncertainty as we head into the weekend um, with that going on. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX saw a little bit of increase yesterday, as you can see, popping back up. What was good about it, though, is it popped back up into this level of resistance. And notice we popped up in here and we did see that that resistance reacted here in the chart. Kind of a cool thing when price action does what you would expect it to do. It's reacting to support, resistance, trend, those kind of things. So what else do we have going on here in the VIX? Let's uh, just go to a naked chart and let's take a look at what we've got going on. We've got this downtrend here in play. Now this gap up this morning could challenge this downtrend or we could break above that downtrend. Some would tell you when they look at this that this is nothing more than a great big bearish flag been waving out here in the wind. I'm not going to go that far and say that because this has been a substantial decline in the VIX. But one of the things we'll want to pay attention to is if we do get back above that downtrend and prove to hold a higher level of support. That will be the concern. Breaking through, not that big a concern um, if it just happens for one or two days. But if we hold above here, that's going to be the concern. And we could see that uh, fear start to spike back up if we find a higher low here. And by the way, notice what I just drew there. I just drew that possibility that we could put a inverted head and shoulders pattern right there on that chart. So 
that would be the concern if we hold above that point. If we don't, I think we're in pretty good shape. But keep an eye on that. We could see that fear come back in if the, those patterns begin to develop. Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122 has been indicating for some time we are overextended here and uh, in need of a little rest and pullback. And even with that selling yesterday, notice we barely pulled back here in T2122. This morning, unfortunately, the big gap down that we're likely to experience this morning is going to probably stretch us down here in these areas. Now, keep in mind, it, there's nothing about T2122 that tells us how far we um, will pull back, N nothing at all. But if we were to pull back down into this area, that's where we get that indication that we've kind of overdone it to the downside and we could start rallying back up. Notice here lately, as we pull back, there's been an unwillingness to do much selling. We've just been pulling back into this area and then bouncing back. That is still certainly possible. So keep that in mind. Watch these, um, watch these indicators closely. They can give you some clues when we reach those overextended places. And that's what this has been signaling for a few days here. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. We got a few things to be paying attention to here on that economic calendar. This morning we have PMI manufacturing that can move us around a little bit and we have the ISM manufacturing. This is the one that could uh, move us around the most this morning and right now the consensus is looking for about 37.5 on that consensus. Notice that the prior here was 49.1. That's a significant slide on manufacturing. Consensus range goes all the way down to 30. So we'll want to consider that. That could be an effect, uh, could affect the market if that number comes in surprising um, those expectations. So let's keep an eye on that if our manufacturing is pulled back that sharply could have an effect on the market. Also, we'll want to take a look at construction spending here at 10 o'clock. If, if that's dropped dramatically, there could be some issues surrounding that. So those three economic reports are going to be um, important this morning. We have about 100 earnings <coughs> reports this morning that we'll want to keep an eye on. And they could, and we have several um, companies that are notable that will be reporting. Let's take a look at CVX. CVX is one of the notables reporting. It looks like it is moving slightly lower here this morning. Now, I can't tell you if that's a report or if it's just following the rest of the market right now, but CVX indicated just a little bit lower this morning. Uh, Clorox. Clorox is gapping up this morning. Not a big surprise. Clorox is one of those safety plays in the market, and they have certainly benefited from their disinfectant um, products. Um, during the pandemic. So uh, Clorox getting a little bit of a bump here this morning. ABBV, another stock reporting this morning. Looks like it's indicated just slightly higher at the moment. We have APO gapping lower this morning. We have CL Colgate Palm Olive looks like it is moving slightly lower here this morning. Now the bid ask spread is wide. I can't tell you if that's just an effect of the market kind of pushing it down or if they've actually reported and disappointed a little bit here. So watch that CL dish. Dish Network reporting this morning looks like it might be indicating just slightly lower here this morning. Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder will be reporting really wide bid ask spread. Looks like we're waiting for that report. Exxon Mobil, Exxon Mobil moving just slightly lower this morning. PSX, PSX moving slightly lower this morning. VTR, <clears throat> VTR looks like it's indicated open uh, about where it closed yesterday. So keep an eye on that. And last I have on the list um, this morning, um, Honeywell. And that is indicating just a little bit lower this morning. So. Keep an eye on those this morning as they continue to report. And remember, next week we have a, a, an absolutely huge week of earnings. Um, 
looks like next week and next week on its own, um, well over a thousand companies reporting closer to 1500 companies will be reporting tomorrow. So, or next week. So a big week of earnings, we're not going to be out of the woods. And then also remember normally at the first Friday of every month, we have the employment situation number. They have slid that number to next week. So we'll get that big employment situation number may have kind of a bummer effect on the market as well um, when that pops in there next week. So let's watch that close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day in your trading. And thanks so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to provide hype. It's not to provide a whole bunch of prediction. It's really to provide a good quality look at the technicals of the chart, what the price action of the charts are telling us. And if you find that helpful, if you could do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons and also leave a brief comment it helps us continue to grow and i just want to say thank you to everyone who does uh, take the time to do that uh, honestly you guys mean the world to me thank you so much and um you know if if we stick together as traders if we work together um we can all do better so thank you uh very much for the support of the effort on the channel um it's been tremendous kind of overwhelming that that many people are following along now so thank you very much let's take a look at some stocks that might be setting up but we're going to have to be a little bit careful today because of the big gap down that we're experiencing here in the market one of the places that i was noticing yesterday that was holding up really well um, <clears throat> take a look at gold now this is a gold stock this isn't actually gold we pulled back a little bit but we're holding in a nice trend gold holding in a nice trend here we may be starting to slip but if we're going to get some selling in the market if selling comes in we might see some of these gold stocks start to hold up and um, move on higher um, newmont mining um, nem is another one that um, pulled back yesterday but once again has been holding up very very well we'll just have to see if gold starts perking back up um, in these stocks take a look at um, like AG AG has been moving up nicely here yesterday got hit a little bit but we're holding up in a trend if this can provide a little support right through here can't say that it will, but if it does catch a little bit of support right through that area, we'll want to keep an eye on that to see if we can kind of hang on and might see silver come back around. We also, you know, when we start to see some selling, we might want to look to some of those more defensive companies. One being like that CLX. CLX um, reporting its earnings, <coughs> gapping slightly higher nice dividend payer it might be one of those places where we run to some of these consumer defensive stocks uh, for some safety um, overall now I, I don't know for sure if that's going to occur but we could see a little bit of a move toward some of those safety stocks if we um, do get more sellers coming into play other places that you might look is if you take a look at like stocks like SJM SJM Smuckers had a little pullback here just recently but it's one of those nice dividend payers and defensive sector stocks it might hang in there we'll want to keep an eye on that other places that are rather obvious where we might find some uh, support would be those companies that benefit have benefited during um, this market that might be uh, stocks like walmart now walmart has sold off pretty strongly here lately and it needed to it was really overextended watch this level right in here if we can hold this support we could see some of these defensive sector stocks like this start to pop back up but keep an eye on it holding in there okay looking um looking okay needed a pullback but um, if that really starts getting ugly obviously that could certainly change my impression of this if we can't hold support in that area so watch that closely other places might be like kroger 
Kroger's pulled back. We're going to still need groceries, but something to watch um, in there on that defensive side of things. Another place would be some of those um, disposable consumer products, the cyclical type products. Uh, take a look at Starbucks. Starbucks has been holding up quite well. It is indicated down this morning like everything else is, but Starbucks might be one of those stocks that you could look to to uh, maybe hang on in here and hold up. Seeing lots of good moves <coughs> in casinos. Casinos holding up. Remember, they're gonna try opening up starting next week and casinos have been hanging in there pretty nicely. Once again, the market's pulling them down this morning, but let's keep an eye on those. Those might be um, some stocks that might creep back up. Um, also, you want to keep an eye on those gamers. Um, gamers like um, EA, Electronic Arts, moved up yesterday. They're holding up quite well um, overall, and that, those gaming stocks might be a place that you could look for oh, maybe a little bit of safety um, overall in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all just the best day, and more importantly, I want to wish you a fantastic weekend. Everyone... Thanks so much for being here, and I truly, truly appreciate it. Be safe. Take care of your family. Watch out for this virus situation. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a good weekend. Take care, everyone.